Hi, welcome to this part of the playlist. We are looking at developer associate real certification questions. So this is the part 16. You may refer previous parts, that is parts 1 to 15 for previous questions. Please remember all of these questions are all valid. Please focus on the concepts. In this part, we will cover questions with these topics. Please hit the subscribe and the like button. It helps me understand the pulse of the audience. So let us jump into the questions. This is the first one for this part. So do you know what does SQS, SQS does? So this is basically you want to send message from point A to point B. Primarily for microservices based applications. Okay. See you have point A that is sending message to point B using SQS. See SQS is in between. It is like a ship. It will take message from A and give it to B. Now what does the question say? Same message. Same message. This message. It should you, you should not give it to C also because it was meant for B. It should be given to B. You should not give it to C. You should not give it to D. You should not give it to E. Now, how is that possible out of these four options? What should we do? First one is saying receive message. So this will pick whatever is there in the queue. Okay. So what this what is wrong here is see one message has been received. A has given it to B. B has received it. Again, it is saying please receive it again. Why? That is not required here. That will be duplication of the message. Always remember, you are not supposed to send same message twice, thrice, four times. You will only send it once, not multiple times. Now B tells you issue a delete message call to delete the message. It is like, you know, boss B. See, you have seen gangsters when they exchange some money or guns or anything they do not leave a trail they will take it and they will delete the message they will read the message and delete the message okay. so this is what it is saying but so there is something called delete messages after received see we will look if there is a better option so third this is saying send message you should use to send the message to dead letter queue now what is dead letter queue see there is a send message method that is for sure huh. see if the message cannot be processed huh, then only it should go to dead letter queue so does the question say that the question is saying it is taking longer than planned it is not saying that message did not get processed so c is wrong for sure that leaves us with one option d which says change visibility see this is an inbuilt feature okay so what happens is you see this text immediately if the message is received it re it will remain in the queue the consumer will not have to delete that is when b receives the message from a we need not go and delete, go there and delete it. There is a feature already built in which will prevent other consumers from processing the same message again. What is that feature? It is visibility timeout. Simple. Default for message is 30 seconds. Visibility timeout. So you extend the visibility timeout. Extend means for a longer period of time, you will ensure that nobody can pick it see your application is saying it is taking longer than planned okay and minimum is zero seconds and default is 30 seconds so if if you know it is taking longer then maybe it is advisable you can go to th 30 minutes or one hour so this is the final answer now let us look at this question see there is an application okay it has a database which is rds mysql it has web tire which is a tomcat server 
and one thing to notice there are repeated read requests okay so always remember if there are lots of read requests then caching helps so which aws service would benefit for in memory store see whenever you have read request you need caching because if the data is kept in cache for reading the request will not go to database the cache where it is cache set see cache will sit here this line no in between so this guy would send request cache will say hey i have the data cache will return the data what happens is the request will not go here if cache has the data so load on database decreases that is one so whenever you think of cache no stupid thing which option has cache this one elastic cache is my answer rds inbuilt cache is not there sqs is not a cache stuff so sqs will send messages so if you use sqs in this scenario you know it's like you wanted mr thakre but somehow mr shinde came in and read replica see read replica is not a caching mechanism read replica is used like if you have reporting application and you want to isolate reads with writes then you can use in this case we already know there are only majority read request if i just put cache it will solve my problem so this is my final answer so this one is on cloud formation okay so whenever you think of cloud formation you should think of infrastructure as a code so you know like when you get a computer you install operating system and you install word excel and those things so if you have cloud formation you can just write a code and run the code and all installation and configuration everything will be done by the code you don't have to wait and change each and every setting so that is so easy what is the advantage is you create it once and then you deploy it to how many pcs you want just like your corporate tcs infosys must be doing it because you guys are factories in india there is a factory so in factory there are so many people it's a it factory so many people so many laptops so many desktops okay so there you know this is already in use like to some extent uh, it's called a uh, image so image is already in use this is uh, taking it one level above it is creating a code not a image image was the first level it helped solve lot of problems second level is code infrastructure as a code so you can tear down production and you can recreate production without worrying about hey what happened to my configuration settings everything is con configured and it is in the code don't want to worry so what are they doing they are they are upgrading the cloud formation stack okay now what can business do to ascertain the effect of adjustments on operating systems there are four options here so the first one says investigate change sets see this documentation is a very good documentation so what are chain sets suppose you you know in cloud formation what you do you create a stack in stack you can write okay i will install on operating system i will configure it i will install one application so you want to know now what is happening is in this question you are making a change you want to know if i change something some configuration what will be the impact so you use change set so you will update a stack here and you will understand how changes will affect your resources okay so change sets it's just like a preview you see this preview normally you know some applications you make some changes and it says okay do you want to preview before you print to a pdf or you want to print it before that do you preview so if, when you try to print anything it will give you that option you want to preview so that you do not waste paper and then say, say that oh uh, this didn't print well you preview it first only here also you do not waste time after entire thing has been rolled out you and you will think oh my god uh, it didn't work so it will give you a preview it will check it worked or not simple but this is what we need right hello 
this is what we need right see the next option is saying investigate the stack policies see why do you use stack policy it's a policy policy means police police policy policy police police policy you create a policy so that you prevent any updates to the stack resources that is the policy you created so that there is no accidental updates or there is no unauthorized updates does the question say that my problem is governance no no so this is wrong we do not want police everywhere C says investigate metadata section. See when you include resources the first time, no, you use metadata. Inspecting the metadata, what it will tell you? Nothing. It will only tell you what you already have it. It will not tell you if you make these changes, what will happen. It will not tell you that. In this question, you want to know if I am making any upgrade, what will get affected? It this will not tell you. And investigate resources section. See resources section investigation nothing will help because you, it will only tell you what resources you have already factored there in cloud formation. It will not tell you what will happen if you try to do this upgrade. What will happen? It will not give you the preview. So this is the correct answer. Now please subscribe and hit the like button. Keep doing these two things i will keep posting more videos also put in your comments if you want some information on, on other certifications please refer parts 1 to 15 of this playlist all questions are valid focus on the concepts in this part we covered questions linked with these topics see you in the next part